Hi folks, welcome. As you probably know, I have new passion and new hobby every month, which is great because I learn new things and one of them is kayak. I love to modify it. I also added a sail and also made myself an outboard motor on the back, modifying an angle grinder and adding like car 12 volt motor, which, which was working great. So today we are going to modify and have connection between all the things we learn on this channel. So let's get started and see what's in my mind. Let's go. So the plan is to make a battery-free electric kayak so that all the electric production will be produced in the exact moment with my legs. So I have to take a huge dynamo and fortunately for us there is a full tutorial on how to make three different <laughs> exercise bike that will produce electricity. Today we are going to modify and make everything as lighter as possible. So the plan is to take uh, the motor from an electric scooter, remove the weight, so in this case the rubber wheel isn't really necessary, and cut away the very heavy cast iron wheel. This was so heavy and the plan is to ha have everything as lighter as possible. So also the kayak will be light and I can transport everything easily from my house the lake or to the sea without problem. Let's cross the finger and hope that the plasma torch can cut this cast iron wheel without problems because the plan of today is just to take the little very small pulley <laughs> that I have to connect the dynamo itself. The smaller it is the more fast the dynamo will spin and the more electric current will produce. So I just have to think away on how to connect properly the two things together and I think I'm going to use this that is a kitchen pan <laughs> top and I can mark all the holes, install the original screws of the motor and then weld the pulley here on the side. So this is pretty tricky because it's very very thin metal so I don't want to make holes but after installing back everything on the exercise bike yeah, it looks like it was born in this way. So even at this very slow RPM, we are producing almost 12 volts, which is great. So in this way, I replaced the very heavy flywheel of the exercise bike with the dynamo itself. It's spinning so fast, we are producing electricity, which is great. But now let's think about things. So there are different methods to propel a kayak. So we have like pedal, we have also this kind of system, but I don't want to modify too much the kayak. I don't want to make a hole on the on the bottom. I don't want, I don't want to risk that everything sinks. So I just want to modify exteriorly all the things. And there's a very, very interesting method to do this, a physical principle. So let, let me explain you how it works. Take inspiration from this physical process that is happening between two stepper motor or maybe two brushes motor that are connected to each other. So after connecting all the cables together, you can turn one stepper motor and also the other one will turn as well. So if you think about it, it's just having like a mechanical connections between these two motors and you can place them in any place. Which could be a very great idea if you want to build your own follow focus using this method. So you can place one knob in one place and you can turn the focus lens. So I can use the same principle with the brushless motor. So when we turn it, we are creating like a frequency that is flowing between the cable. So even if I change direction, also the stepper motor will change direction. And the same thing happens with the brushless motor. So let's see how can I use this method on the kayak. So the same exact thing, we can use it with the dynamo. From this came out three cables, which is producing three phase current. I can connect it directly to another very huge brush motor. Also these have three cables, so you can see that if we turn one motor, also the other one we turn and follow the same direction, which is great. This is just what I need because I can think about it and then decide how to place everything properly on a kayak. So for example, I can place dynamo, everywhere, maybe next to my seat, next to my feet, and have instead everything back on the kayak where the outboard motor will be placed. For example, I can also place it underwater if it's waterproof. So this is a great solution. There's already a very big problem. Even if it's very powerful, the face can be just out of sync and everything will stall. So to solve this problem, I can replace the outboard motor instead using a brushless motor, using a very simple DC motor. 
So one solution to have the more torque to this motor is to add RPMs reduction. So I have, after dismounting a drill, I can connect this DC 24 volt motor directly to this gear system coming from a drill. I can then replace this that is a shaft connector between the two parts and then fix properly all this wood adapter I just cut. So a very nice design, very lightweight and also very compact. The reason why I put so many gear reduction is to lower the suction of power of the motor so I will not stress too much my legs and also have more torque to the motor itself. The motor, I just took it apart from an outboard gasoline motor from a boat and I then cut all these adapters to connect the drill part to the foot of this <laughs> two-stroke engine motor. So I want to have also here also all the parts as lighter as possible. So that's the reason I'm just using three very strong stainless steel shaft, connect all the parts here with some screws on the bottom of the engine, and I can weld all the parts together. Later, if I want to dismount everything, could be pretty tricky, but I can use an angle grinder. But I'm pretty sure everything will work and I don't need to take it apart in any case. So the foot pedal is all filled with grease, marine grease, so no rust will be produced, but the top will get rusty. So it's very important to keep the things very distant from each other so that the motor and the drill will stay always dry. So I can weld like a metal plate and this is also very important when you start to weld next to wood to add some water so the wood doesn't take fire and we don't ruin everything. So, it's taking shape, I'm very happy and I have to just weld also this part on top. But first, let's make a test and see if everything spins properly. I also connected a shaft between the drill part and the foot of the motor and you can see that the exercise bike produces electricity, the electricity flows through a bridge rectifier that goes directly into the motor itself. So I can paint everything in blue so I can protect all the metal parts so it doesn't get rusty and also the wood will not get too much moisture and will get eaten by the insects. So it's coming great, I just have to add something to make it more hydrodynamic and I cut these blue wood parts with this like drop shape for this proper reason. I want to cut the water and have maximum efficiency and have no drag in the water. So you can see here the shaft I was telling you and I can take some rigid plastic, screw it on top of the wood parts that are drop shape and now I can use something to soften the plastic. In this case a very small flame is more than enough. Maybe I can use also a heat gun, but unfortunately I broke all of them, I, the both of them I have here in my shop, so fire could work as well. I just have to be more, more, more careful to don't make holes or burn the plastic in one single pass. So I can then screw everything once everything is banded and taking shape. So everything is ready, I just have to connect some hinges to spin and to turn and change direction of the motor, which will work as well like a rudder on the back of the kayak. And this is my kayak. This is a two-person kayak. It's pretty big and has the perfect shape also to connect this. That is a homemade bracket for the motor. So everything is ready. I just so curious to test it. So let's move to the lake and test also the fishing rod that is just brand new and hope to catch some fish. But I'm more interested on see if this propeller is good enough. Maybe I have to swap it with a bigger one, but let's see if nothing gets hot and if it, if it works and if it's stable. So let's move.
So fish aren't eating today, but the plan of today was just to test if the dynamo will work and also the motor if it will work and everything. It's amazing. So we have the power of the dynamo that flows inside a bridge rectifier, which is this thing on this pole. Yeah, because I, want, I don't want to get it wet and these convert the three phase into positive and negative so these are the two cables that comes out oh, I consider that we have to put very thick cable the more thick the thicker they are the more amperage will flow to the motor that is here on the back in this case I don't need so much amperage because lucky for us the motor isn't uh, having problems to prepare, prepare the boat so the reason why are all these uh, mechanical reduction I put so we have the reduction from the drill and we have also the reduction that is inside the foot of the marine motor so all of them uh, works in this way we have the electric motor that spins very very fast like 1000 rpm and instead the propeller on the bottom is going only 200 300 rpms which right now isn't optimal because the propeller was designed this propeller was designed to go with very high rpms so i need to swap the propeller and put in style instead something that has is, is much bigger with diameter and also better hydrofoil shape and the solution is always an rc propeller from airplane which works great also or, or maybe also from uh let's say a drone maybe will work as well we will see this summer i'm going to use this marine motor in the in the sea and let's and hope to catch some barracuda. So let's cross the finger. And at this point, if you enjoy kayaks, this isn't my first video about kayaks. I also convert kayak into a sailboat and also connect a, an angle grinder and con convert it into a motor for the kayak itself. So check both video here and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.